Okay, so what we're having a look at here is we've got shading that's gone wrong on this view. Um, this has been around for quite a few years. Um, a few little things we need to do to try and to try and figure out. It means that there's some that something doesn't, or the view hasn't really got all the information that it needs to um, to create the view. So the first thing to check is to go make sure on the display tab that you've got a view configuration. Sometimes that can go and fix that. So once you've done that. And you, click, and you click apply, that is going to that is going to fix that view. But in this instance, it's not. Next thing is to go into the appropriate part and make sure that there's no errors on that part. So once you've edited into your part, go into your um, um, inspect no sorry tools tab and go to errors, and it will list any errors that are on there. So this one um, previously had a cutout that was on a plane that was no longer there. And there was a feature. There was a um, there, there was a broken feature in this part, so I went in and fixed those two errors. So with that grayed out, it means there's no errors on that part. So the next thing we've got to have a look at at the way the view was created. So this view was created via a principal view. So so this so this has just been dragged, and it's been decided what size that um, that view going to be. So. Um, the last thing to have a look at for these fixes is to go and create a view within within your configuration, which is then going to give all the information that it needs. So this is nice, so is the wrong way around. I don't want that that way. I want that that way. So I'm just going to use a view cube. Might, uh, it might be in the bottom right corner still, because I tend to like mine up here. And then what we're going to do, we're going to create a custom view from that. So we're going to go to our view tab, over into a little view section, click on the down arrow. I would like to go round and then go on to save current view. So I'm going to call that save current view. And then I'm going to call that uh, I'll call it ISO fix. So we know that's the one that's going to fix the issue for us. And then I'm going to click OK. And save that part just with a Control S. And then I'm going to go back to my draft file. Now on this view again, we, we, we're going to go and find the properties on here. So right click on properties or properties from the dialog box on there. And we can see we've got our part. But to change this view, what we should do is just click on that. Click on the view, the little blue view cube on there. And at the bottom, we've got our name views. So here we've got our ISO fix option. So if we click on that view, that's going to take a few seconds to get that information, update that view, and that's now fixed that view error issue that we've got on there. So hopefully if you follow through all those, make sure you've got no errors on any parts, no broken features, um, and you've got an actual view controlled from your draft, you shouldn't get any more shading issues. Thank you.